Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Hey, what, what? Well, uh, yeah, yeah, I am. Head for Link's Club. Something good will come of it. Gene Yus was up that way when his invitation came. Really? is falling from the sky. Congratulations, Grand Champion Kid! As the top player, I invite you. Peach. Yep! A new path is opened up, but there's more side quests to do. <laughs> so, let's get to them. And of course, those side quests are over at the old practice areas. So, let's start at the driving range, shall we? Sound good? Okay. Congrats on winning Link's Championship. Practicing after making Grand Champ, you're dedicated. <laughs> the Grand Champ has the privilege of entering Peach's Tournament. I hear Mario's not the only expert. Winning Peach's Tournament proves you're the best. Oh, we shall see. So, here is one of the two side quests over here. Well, I should say practice. Drills of sand. Here's another one. I'll do this one first. When it's buried in sand, the meat area gets smaller. When the pressure is on, aren't birdies tough? Mm, yeah, I guess. To approach the green, you have to take a risk. Keep that in mind as you listen to me. You lose distance when the ball is buried in sand, but you can get a birdie with just a little distance. When shooting at long drive, a nice shot means success. You need distance to approach the green, so use power. So look at the lie at the bottom right corner, by the way. Yeah, it's it's what they call a fried egg. <laughs> I'll choose a club. If it's buried in sand, the two iron is the best choice. Yeah, you can't really go over an iron in the sand when it's buried like that because you can't dig in with a wood. It'll just bounce off the surface because the, the bottom of a wood is a lot wider than any iron, so yeah. There, I did it! Don't worry about the bunker. Just swing. Now it's your turn, okay? Okay! First comes power. For more distance, choose a power shot. Choose a glove and be bold about it! Stay focused and swing. So, here we go. Yeah, that should be about right. Probably, most likely. Well, maybe I aim a little bit left of this. And let's see if I can hit it at max power. That should potentially be good. Maybe I shouldn't have aimed left. Oh, I should have aimed left! <laughs> That worked out very nicely. Aw, oh, yeah. That's really good for a trouble shot. Woo! And that was complete very quick. <laughs> so let's go over to the other one, which I don't think will be quite as quick. Then the trees, and you should settle for a bogey. But sometimes you can risk going for the green, right? Absolutely. There's no such thing as bogeys in Mario Golf. Well, in a good Mario Golf score. <laughs> For high-risk shots, you should just play it safe. Actually, there's no such thing as pars in a good Mario Golf score. <laughs> but sometimes you have to take risks in competition. Use sand wedge if you're try just trying to get out of the woods, but consider all the options if you want the green. Now choose a club! I'm curving towards the green to get out of the trees and on the green. As soon as the gauge moves, press the control pad to curve the ball. If your character has a fade and you're playing as a right-handed character, or vice versa, you know, for both fate, I mean, for both draw and uh, left-handed characters. This shot might be harder for you, but it's still possible. <laughs> so, don't give up on this one. See, I'm on the green and can try for a birdie. Want to try? Sure! Choose your shots. Choose the club. Hit the ball. Yeah, that's pretty much how it always goes. <laughs> I'm gonna aim like maybe, 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 maybe there, and hit with right to left and see if it goes up on the green uh oh uh oh nope <laughs> it caught got caught up in the rough there so it didn't roll up uh, let's try it again mm-hmm 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 mm -hmm. actually I'm gonna take maybe I'll, no I can't take one club higher how about I do that instead and aim just a little bit right like before but not as far right and, uh-oh, I miss it. That's not gonna make the green. <laughs> or maybe it will, but it's not gonna be sufficient. Hmm. I think I'm on the right track. Although I'm not, you know, not not supposed to hit outside the uh, target area. 
<laughs> or the impact area, but yeah. Okay, let's try that again. And there we go. Let's see how this works. Will it get up to the hole high enough? No, I don't think so. Yeah, you have to be within a certain range of the pin. Even though I think I'd be able to make that putt, and that would be a um, be a pretty good shot, in my opinion, for getting a good score. It's still not quite up to this mini games. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Oh, okay, that's okay. <laughs> it just indicated that I was gonna hit the tree, and hmm. All right, so that's not enough either. Okay, I'm gonna try. Two iron with power, then I guess. I guess. That's right, and and get in the hole. <laughs> That's gonna be pretty good, actually. Yep, that'll do it. That will do it. Even though I miss it, it'll do it. <laughs> Thanks, great for such a hard shot. You learn quickly. Level up to! Let's see what we can do here. Oh, I better keep my shots straight. I like my shots straight. That is the key to my consistency. And next up, approach practice range. But, if you take a look at the stars, um, let's see if it's showing here yet. Look at this, look at this. Shot, shot contest one and two. That's back at the other practice area. You're like, well, how those appear? I, I believe they appear when you beat both of them and then leave the area and then come back. So, let's go back in here. And let's do these shots again. <laughs> Kid, wanna see if you can hit an eyeball the best? Yeah, an eyeball is another name for a bunk, uh, ball that's buried in the sand, like fried egg. So, this is a contest this time. We gotta see who can get closer than the other. Man, her shot will always land. Right there, yeah, she's perfectly consistent at landing right there. So we gotta get inside her shot. I'm gonna aim a little bit to the left, like I did before. Hit a power shot, and whack that ball up to the hole. By the way, if I miss hit that one by a little bit, I would have duffed it. Oh, I didn't aim far enough left. So she got me there. She got me there. <laughs> Let's try it again. Yep, 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 yep. Oh no, why? Why do you want to show this again? No. Bad. No. <laughs> eh. Eh. I'll probably just end up cutting this out in uh, future shots if I keep failing. Yeah, uh huh, mm hmm, mm hmm. I suppose since it's a shot contest, that explains why to an extent, but since she hits at the same spot every time, it's like, eh. <laughs> And there we go. Oh! Oh no, it's actually too far. Oh no, it's rolling away because the slope. Oh! <laughs> Here we go again! <laughs> okay, so a little bit left like I did before. And actually, I think I'm gonna put backspin on this and. Uh oh, maybe not. Because <laughs> I cut off a little power of that by mistake. And um, nope, not good enough. Let's do it! I think the reason why um, I got it so close the first time when I hit at that sort of power there was because uh, the sand cut off the power just to the right amount that it needed to be because as you know it's it's within the range of 40 to 60 percent so it can vary between that in your shot even though that she ends up being perfectly consistent on her shot you don't get that luxury <laughs> so yeah so that what you got to do here is just Keep at it until you get it, I suppose, if it's that, if it's gonna be that randomized. Ah, <laughs> uh, random factors. There, is, there are those sorts of kind of random factors at golf courses in a way, and that you can't always, oh shoot, oh shoot, I duffed it, in that you can't really tell um, exactly where your ball is gonna land, sometimes just because of your lie or whatnot, sometimes it's hard to tell if you're gonna get like a flyer or it's just gonna you're, the club's gonna get hung up in the rough or something like that or yeah so I should say in the rough or the sand or anything like that because you can't like test the ground around the ball because you'll move the ball so yeah it's a uh, it's a thing of 
prediction, I guess you could say. Of uh, hoping for the best. Okay, I didn't duff at that time. Uh, it's gonna be too much again, isn't it? Well, maybe not. Uh, 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 oh, nope, Slope's gonna take it away. Just a little bit away from hers. Ah! Here we go! <laughs> nope, still too much. What did I do the first time that I got it so nicely? <laughs> Maybe I'll try this shot again at full power, but with the backspin that I thought about doing uh, before. But uh, I, I didn't do the backspin on that other one because... I should say I cancelled the backspin on the other one because I hit it less than full power and if I would have hit it at less... I mean, if I would have hit it at uh, less than full power, the backspin would have kept it away from the hole. I thought, eh, I'll just try it at that. And, yeah, it still didn't make it. <laughs> anyway, here we go. Backspin. At. Uh, that's not gonna work. <laughs> here we go! Alright, so backspin, full power, and let's see what that does. That should have a pretty good result. Uh, wow, well, yep, yep, there's definitely a random factor to the sand, because that shouldn't have went that far. Um, if it was following the pathway of the other shot that I took. I should say the other shots that I took. So, yeah, it's... You can't beat this one every time. <laughs> as much as you'd want to. You probably won't have the luck to beat this one every time. <laughs> uh, it's, like, I'm gonna try that same shot again, and uh, with the backspin and everything. Just a little bit aimed to the left, you've seen that with power, but backspin. And I duffed it. <laughs> Alright, try it again. It's kind of funny, because I beat her shot on my first shot here, and now I'm having trouble getting within any sort of range of hers whatsoever. <laughs> and... Nope, that's outside the range too. Get. In. The. Hole! <laughs> Love it, look at how much shorter that one is at full power and... Oh wait, that... Never mind, that was Xbox D-pad acting up. I hit bottom left rather than just bottom. It's one notch less than max now. Let's see what that does, just like hers. Maybe that's what I should be aiming for, rather than trying to hit it at full and then doing the backspin thing. Like, we both have about the same distance of the two iron. So, chances are that means it's probably the best idea to hit it as is, you know, as she's hitting it, but, but, you know, random factor. <laughs> like, see, I got a, a little bit less power than she does off that, but I'm gonna try, ah, I duffed it again. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try in my future shots to um, hit just one notch below max power, aiming just to the left of it, uh, because of the wind. Oh! Nope. <laughs> there we go. Let's see what this one does. Get up there, get up there, get up there, get up there. Ah, I don't think that's closer. I don't think so. Ah! Okay, randomizer. Let's see how it goes. There we go. I did it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's definitely a random factor to this. Kind of ridiculous if you think about it, considering that's supposed to be a drill of sorts. But yeah, that's that's how it goes. You do that. I'm done here. You beat me like ten times in a row. <laughs> I'm on to this one now, which has much, much less of a random factor. Because of the, the rough lie being 80-90 rather than... Uh, uh, what was it, 4060 for the sand? I forgot Yeah, if it was in a uh, uh, buried lie, I believe it's 4060. And alright. Well, you actually can miss hit this one. It's not like the bunker shots where you can duff just being one notch off the impact area. And as a kicker, he she's not nearly as close as she is. So this one's definitely easier than the other one. Alright, let's hit. 
Like maybe about there. Curve, max power, gift in the hole! That might be a little too much, or pretty good. <laughs> I think that was actually a little bit too much. Uh, we'll see here. Oh, no, I won. <laughs> that was just a big difference. Master trouble shots, you, you're no chance of winning. Mm, or just not getting the trees in the first place. It's pretty hard to do so if you got a straight shot in Mario Golf. <laughs> All right, let's do a couple stuff at the approach practice range before I end this off here. No, 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 no. Let me congratulate you on the grand championship. With that, I declare that I will take it from you. I wish you the best of luck there, there. But probably not going to happen. <laughs> Everyone's got their eyes on you. Being the grand champion is every golfer's dream. The grand grand champion is genius, by the way. Or was. One of these days, kid, I'm going to beat you. All right, now let's do her. Not literally do her, I mean, you know, do her side quest. Cutting across a steep slope is hard, don't you think? Yeah, sure, whatever. Reading the ball's line is the key to that shot. High shots need better aim, so they're tough. So carry it to the green and roll with the slope. Select an approach, choose a club. Carry it and run, be about the same. 5 iron, and those spins should work well. I don't know if I'll use a 5 iron. I'll probably do my 2 iron thing, as I'm used to using that, you know, from this sort of distance. Uh, it's a, as I said before, it's a matter of playing your own game. So let's get ourselves in range for a one putt. <laughs> Aim a little bit left, and I'll hit about there. Maybe I'll put backspin on that too. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. I would be one putt territory. <laughs> hey, hey, nice work! Try it with tough spin too. Mm hmm. And one more. Going over a mount from the rough to down, no pin is hard. If the pin's close to an angle die, no way, eh? Uh, really, it's no. I'm gonna say yes just because it'll start this. <laughs> Don't be pressured by hard approaches, but approach so you can still try an uphill putt even if you miss. It's almost impossible to get to the pin, but I'll try. Find the line, hit a softball, stop me with the pin. Choose an approach, choose a club. Carry the ball to the mound and roll to an approach. Use a pitching wedge and put Baxter on the ball. I don't know about a pitching wedge. Preferably, I'd use a sand wedge. Or in real life, I'd use a lob wedge, like 60 degrees. So I can stop the ball really quickly. Uh, yeah, sure, I would love to try. I gotta get the side quest out of the way. <laughs> okay, I'll hit a little bit to the left. And mm, yeah, I'll use a sand wedge, I suppose. With backspin. <laughs> and yeah, maybe I stopped it a little bit too close. I mean, a little bit too close to me, but uh, I got the experience points. <laughs> it would have still been a one putt anyway. And with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part when I start the rest of the side quests, including some approach shot challenges here. Ooh.